Residents are definitely looking for relief. Of course, the mayor has been making the same prediction for weeks now that boil water alert could be lifted in a matter of days. As operators continue to boost water production at the OB Curtis treatment plant. Investigatory sampling will continue today to monitor water quality. Mayor Lumumba repeated what he's been saying for weeks about the state-imposed boil water alert, which has been in effect for over a month. We are optimistic that we're looking at a matter of days, not weeks, before we can expect the boil water notice to be lifted. According to the mayor, operators who've taken investigative water samples feel good about what they've seen so far. You not only need to make sure that you have good water coming out, uh, but before we could lift that boil water notice, we have to know that what is in the distribution lines right now has moved its way through those lines, and so we can say with certainty. The mayor says one raw water pump, which was installed over the weekend, had to be removed to be repaired again. Another pump that's out of service also still has to be fixed. Those two uh, pumps do not affect the current plant input or output. Uh, all raw water pumps that are in use remain, and that have been in use remain in use, including the temporary rental pump uh, that has been installed in the process of this emergency. And the mayor is holding a community meeting tomorrow night to address residents' questions about the water crisis. It's at 6 o'clock at College Hill Missionary Baptist Church. That's on Florence Avenue near the Jackson State University campus. And the mayor says he's inviting everyone from the governor, city council members, even state and federal agencies. For now, we're live in West Jackson. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.